The Young IPWEA Australasia Emerging Leader Award seeks to inspire excellence and dedication in public works among young IPWEA members. The winner will be a person who has demonstrated excellence within the profession and the advancement of young people within IPWEA within their region. Will Barton, Juni Shire Council. Nicola Dabool, Ascetic. Ashley Tompkins, Gladstone Regional Council. Craig Heck, Scenic Rim Regional Council. Jason Tamas, City of Salisbury. Adela Parnell, Taswater. Stuart Joyce, Morpham Environmental. The IPWEA Australasia Public Works Leadership Medal recognises the performance of an individual IPWEA and or Engineers Australia member for leadership in the delivery of public works excellence. The 2017 finalists for IPWEA Australasia Public Works Leadership Medal are Mark Roebuck, Wollongong City Council in Mark's mentoring of young engineers, he's been quoted as saying, make mistakes, it's the only way to learn. Just don't do them twice. He had worked with Windsor Caribbe Shire Council and with New South Wales Public Works. George Bunasif, Randwick City Council. As manager of infrastructure, George applies modern project management principles to his wide variety of complex projects. Paul Keach. Gladstone Regional Council. Paul holds a Master of Business Administration and Bachelor of Engineering Civil. He is held in very high esteem with his peers and with state and federal politicians. He is always approachable and meets his deadlines. Andrew Ryan, Sunshine Coast Council. Andrew is the Director Infrastructure Services, responsible for an asset base of around $4 billion, a staff of 650 and annual budget of $300 million. Andrew's focus is in putting contemporary management practices into action. Angela Fry, GHD. Angela has worked for Toowoomba Regional Council, Department of Transport and Main Roads and in private industry, as well lecturing at the University of Southern Queensland. She was responsible for the successful delivery of the $50 million Outer Circulating Road Project 2012 to 2016. Peter Chokas, City of Unley. Peter was appointed as CEO of Unley in 2011 and has led the council in developing a number of key strategies, including Unley's ageing strategy. Kanchana Withana, City of Monash. Kanchana has a passion for innovation and was instrumental in the development of the award-winning Monash Curb Inlet. Vicky Shelton, City of Greater Geelong. Vicky is Manager Engineering Services and has had 30 years in local government. She was IPWEA Victorian Division President in 2013, as well as being the first female IPWEA member to be elected to such a position at either state or national level. Alan Clayden, City of Mandurah. Alan is Director of Works and Services, responsible for 180 employees and a budget of $80 million, about half the total city budget. Sumner Road Retaining Wall Stage 4, Christchurch City Council. Wyong CBD Drainage Upgrade, Wyong Shire Council. Teara Iwiti The Light Path, New Zealand Transport Agency. River Torrens Linear Park, 
Strategic Integrated Asset Management Plan, Tonkin Consulting and City of Charles Sturt. TARDIS Software, making rainfall and stream level data accessible and useful. Townsville City Council. Timaru District Wide Wastewater Strategy, Timaru District Council. Citywide Schools Traffic Safety and Parking Review, Tonkin Consulting, City of Norwood, Paynham and St Peter's. Mills Park Redevelopment, City of Gosnells. The prestigious Keith H. Wood Medal recognises an outstanding engineer in public works who has demonstrated exceptional dedication, leadership and contribution to both the industry and IPWEA over a significant number of years and is worthy of the highest industry commendation. This is the highest honour conveyed by IPWEA. The award is made in recognition of Keith H. Wood AM, a founder of the Australian Local Government Engineers Association, which later became the Institute of Municipal Engineering Australia, now the Institute of Public Works Engineering Australasia, IPWEA. This year, there are two nominees for the Keith H. Wood Medal. David Harris, City of Gosnells. Dave has been a member of IPWEA Western Australia for 34 years, a fellow since 2002, and was awarded Emeritus Membership in 2009. Through his involvement with IPWEA, he has been a leader in development of policies, practices and standards on all aspects of local government engineering in WA. Dave is also the chair of this year's IPWEA Conference Committee. Gerard Jed Brennan, Gen Eng Solutions Proprietary Limited. Jed Brennan was the president of IPWEA Queensland from 2013 to 2015 and was also Southwest Queensland branch president. His contribution led to a greater understanding by local councils across the state of the valuable role engineers play in delivering services for our communities.